Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Go gang. All right, winter is on the horizon. Make sure you guys go to the top line of the description box right where you see this beautiful young lady advertising our new hip-hop uncensored merch right now. The link is at the top line of the description box. Do not wait. All right, man, I appreciate you guys checking in the hip-hop news uncensored. As you know, hit the like button. You know what I mean? Share the video. And most importantly, subscribe to hip-hop news uncensored for more exclusive just like this. All right, man, Little Nas X Pops actually airs Boosie out. And here's what he actually said. Now, if you guys have been following this whole thing, Boosie and Little Nas X have been trading shots. You know, Boosie going way harder. Pause on Little Nas X, you know, to the point where people are calling Boosie homophobic. Well, well, Little Nas X father shot back, fired back at Boosie. And here's what he said. He put... How the hell you a gangster rapper promoting drugs, guns, violence, degrading women, and getting high every video talking about you're about the kids, man. Sit your old man looking ass down. The game has passed you. We roll bank it over here. Not like the guy who claims it. Champions. Woo! Fire. Spitting fire at Boosie. Now, I know a lot of people on this channel, you guys love Boosie, and a lot of you guys, you know, love Little Nas X, but... You know, some of you people despise Little Nas X, but I'm going to call a spade a spade every single time here on Hip Hop News Uncensored. If you're coming over here, the name matches the channel. It's Uncensored. Now, we talked about this, though, on the podcast. You know, we talked about, you know, the uh, conversation that Charlamagne had with Little Nas X. And, um, you know, how, you know, Little Nas X pretty much said F your kids and whatnot. And then, you know, he pointed out, you know, what about other rappers and stuff that they do and whatnot. And some of the points are valid, right? And here's my thing with the whole thing, right? I don't agree. I think Little Nas X goes too far with his videos and the message that he's trying to push out. But I also can see where Little Nas X dad is coming from because it's pointing out the obvious elephant in the room. And what is the elephant in the room? The elephant in the room is like, all right, yeah, like all this stuff is detrimental. Promoting what Little Nas X promotes and pumping drugs, guns, violence, doing drugs on camera, promoting all this stuff, promoting lean, double cups. All this stuff is detrimental to the kids and to the culture. I don't care what nobody says. It's detrimental. And it got these kids in the street. Got these kids in the street actually doing it and dying off fentanyl overdoses. Dying off Percocet overdoses, dying, popping Zannies, drinking too much alcohol, trying all this crazy stuff. You know, people having crazy amounts of kids and stuff like that. People out there doing all this stuff. All this stuff is detrimental. That's the point about all of it. Like, so it's like, all right, the chicken or the egg, which one comes first? It's all detrimental and it all needs to be called out. Now, I understand, though, you know, if you come from this element it's gangster rap. You're going to talk about that. That's fine. But if you're talking about that for 20 years, you don't involve your message, you ain't involving as a person, then shame on you. Shame, shame on you. Equally, I think it's bad. I don't want to see, I don't want my kids to be hearing the music, pumping these drugs, pumping what they pumping. And I don't want to see, turn on the TV and see little Nas X gallivanting around in prison in pink. I don't want to see none of that. I don't want to have my kids being exposed to nothing like that so i definitely understand you know where it's all coming from now i know people are going to have their thoughts and opinions here you know hip-hop news uncensored and i think you guys are entitled to that i will never ever try to stop you from ever having your opinions and feeling a way that you do but little nas x his father has a, a powerful powerful point in what he's saying this stuff is going way too far and i don't think that the rappers realize the collateral damage because at the end of the day they get to go back to their mansions you know what i mean and um you know with the women and you know uh, the drugs and the partying and some of them don't even do drugs but they get to go back and just live this life driving ferraris while kids out in the street is dying you know suffering you know people uh ODing, people withdrawn they don't tell you about the dark side some of them do 
But for the majority of them, they don't tell you about the dark side of what can happen if you actually start to do drugs, if you actually start to drink lean. How little Wayne said your stomach feels like death. You know, they don't tell you about, you know, how you're going to be withdrawn when you start taking Percocet. They don't tell you when you start taking Xanax that you're going to be withdrawn. They don't tell you that if you, you know, get the wrong pill out there, you can actually die and never wake up. They don't tell you about alcohol and how you can become dependent on alcohol. They don't tell you about that stuff, man. They make it all glory and they glamorize it all. And then at the end of the day, they come back with a message like little Nas X and say, oh, the parents, the parents should have been there. To hell, to hell with anybody who has that type of ideology. Rapper, country singer, Lil Nas X, to hell with them for that type of ideology. You know what I mean? We all, they need to be responsible because at the end of the day, Boosie and Lil Nas X have children, kids, young teenagers that rock out with them, especially in the case of Little Nas X. Like, you bring people in with this music, you know, the pony music and all that, and, you know, uh, uh, riding on a horse, boom, boom, you got kids bumping it. Next thing you know, you got your tongue down a man's throat on national TV, confusing the kids. And then you got the nerve to sit up there on a the, on the breakfast club and say, F your kids, the parents need to be there. To hell with you, dog. To hell with these gangster rappers that's promoting all this stuff, getting these liquor deals, promote. You got guys promoting, you know, double cups, drinking lean, all this stuff that they promote. And then when we say us oh, blood on your hands, they want to exalt themselves and say, oh, it's the parents' fault. Hell no. Hell no. We all, yeah, the parents got a responsibility. Hell yeah. But the parent can only do so much. You know what I mean? You you got to be able to, your message got to be, you know, something like, all right, you know what? Yeah, I know my shit is for adults. But what if kids happen to listen to it? Let me tone it down a little bit. Let me switch it up a little bit. Let me put this here a little bit. Or if I'm going to do it, look, I'm going to tell you about the dangers. Let me tell you about my homie who died from a fentanyl overdose. Let me tell you about my homie who had this happen from this. Let me tell you about my homie who had this happen from this. Let me tell you about my homie that's doing all this time in prison. is crying every night because he can't see his children. How about that? We never see that part. You sometimes see that part, but for the most part, you don't see the dark side. They, gl they glamorize gangbanging. They glamorize all this stuff. And then when it comes back on them, they try to, you know, say, oh, what well, ain't my fault. You should have been there. I don't like it. I don't like it. But I'm going to digress on this particular video, man. I want you guys to let me know what you guys think about this video, man. I appreciate you guys listening as long as you did. You know what I mean? Um, as always, man, uh, make sure you guys smash that like button. Share this video, share it on Facebook, text message to somebody, and um, subscribe to Hip Hop News on Center for more exclusives just like this one. I appreciate you guys. We're going to keep on pumping out that content. You know what I mean? All I need you guys to do is to keep on doing what you do, man, engaging it, leaving the comments. But I definitely, definitely, this is one where I really want to hear what you guys got to say. I want to hear a comment. The best comment, I'm going to pin it to the top. What do you guys think about Little Nas X, what his pop said? You think about, you know, just let me know what you guys think about it. We could definitely move forward and um, go on from here. But with that being said, man, I got to get to the studio. I'm going to digress. Your boy got peace.